Guess what? I've got plant mail. Is there anything better than opening up a box full of plants? No. So I actually ordered these from one of my regular suppliers at the beginning of lockdown. So they arrived today and I am just super excited and of course my little assistant is back. Uh. Oh, yay. Just open up like that. Let's see what we have. So this is all the plants. They're like they're packaged really well in here. It's like secure, like fastened. I mean, it, the, these plants were not going to go anywhere. Uh. So this is a palindendron sub astatum. It's a, it's a relatively new plant on the market um, and it has this beautiful burgundy undersized to the leaves. So yay, I've been planting this plant for so long and I finally got one so. Okay, so what do you think? Is it nice? Or are you only interested in like the plastic? You're, you're only interested in the plastic, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so that like, you can see, and I can show you if you can see the undersides, how beautiful that is. So it's actually quite a big plant because I asked them if they had a smaller one and they said that they had the smaller one that was smaller than the other plants. So then I can't imagine how big the other plants were. No, no, no. You're not going to hijack another one of my unboxing videos. This is not going to happen. Come, yeah, yeah. And here we have a small little anthurium. This is a beautiful hybrid one. This is Anthurium Surgerianum. I'm 100% convinced I did not pronounce that correctly, but I'll put the names of all of these plants up on the screen for you guys. So let's just get this one out of here. This is the one that they call the Pixel Anthurium because the, um, <laughs> the thingy in the spadex. Um, or is it called the spadex? But you, you know what I mean. It's like curled. Ugh, this is how beautiful this is. I actually have another one of these, but it's a bigger plant. Um, and is I don't think it's the same um, cultivar. Like the other one I have is called um, Lindsay, I think. Whereas this one, I'll show you now what this is called. So the name on this is, the cultivar name is Bright Orange. This is a cute little, little plant. It's beautiful, like flowers. Now the next one is a Monstera. And this is Monstera Adansonii. I mean, it's just amazing how well these plants are packaged. Uh, 
So you can see this is a little monster out in Sonia with these beautiful um, pen illustrated leaves. And then the last one is a little special one. This is an orchid. And it is the vanilla orchid. This is the orchid that the flower pod, um, the seed pod, is used to make vanilla essence and vanilla flavoring in food. And it's also a, a, a very gated one. So this plant is going to be um, kind of interesting to keep in like Cape Town, which is not a like naturally tropical area. So there, there we go. So this plant is still a while of like blooming. I think that they need to be about eight feet tall in order to start blooming. And so what's interesting about the vanilla is that the flowers are hand pollinated and, and that's why they're so expensive um, because it's, it, it's a very labor intensive like, crop because obviously they have a symbiotic relationship with a certain pollinator in the natural environment. But if they're taken out of that and like, grown in other tropical areas of the world, you, you, you need to hand pollinate the flowers. Hmm. So um, I'm gonna place these plants probably in my study, somewhere <laughs> where there's all space, <laughs> um, or I'll find space. You know, as a plant person, you make space. There's always enough space. Also my cat's a freak. Um, because I know that the vanilla orchid needs high humidity, so, so that will definitely need to be close to a humidifier or like somewhere, and, and with heat, because they also don't like cold conditions. Um, but I think that the monster at Nisonia is a bit more, to more tolerant, so that that would most probably like grow down here somewhere. Um, and the anthurium I will also keep in my study because that's why I keep all of my anthuriums. Um, as well as this beautiful philodendron um, I will also keep in my study. But out of direct sunlight. Um, but oh my god, I just can't get over these leaves. Because what's so funny about it is that you, if you, if you look at the plant, from the front, it just looks like a, oh, it's just a normal like the green leaf. But but then you see the back, so it's kind of like party in the party. You know, <laughs> it's kind of like business in the front and party in the back. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so this is a cute little plant. It will in time obviously also need a pole to support it. Um, similar to my squamy Um yeah, but oh my god, these leaves are just gorgeous. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to hit the subscribe button to see more videos like these.